I'm Jen from Endor Labs, and I'm going to walk you through how to monitor for known malicious packages and detect potentially malicious code using the same processes you use to detect vulnerabilities, license issues, and more. I'll start out in the Findings tab for a Python project. Most of what you'll see here are findings for vulnerabilities or their issues with the way your repositories are configured. But we can quickly filter to just the known malicious packages by clicking Malware, which shows us one critical finding for a confirmed malicious package. This package was originally detected in August 2023 by the OpenSSF Package Analysis Project and reported to the OSV. Next, we'll look at a dependency that was flagged for suspicious code. You'll notice its finding is categorized as low severity, which is because these are not confirmed instances of malicious code. Rather, we've detected patterns and behaviors used in a previous supply chain attack using rules that look for snippets and behaviors which we know have been used by attackers but haven't yet been confirmed as malware. Our research team investigates each finding and depending on the results, we'll either dismiss the finding or convert it to critical. You can use the Endor score to understand what got the dependency flagged in the first place. The Endor score is a metric that evaluates open source packages based on factors such as security, activity, popularity, and code quality. The information on potentially malicious code is found within the security subscore. In this example, the security research team determined that the base64 code in question is not actually malicious, but rather it's created automatically during the packaging of the Python wheel. And there you have it. That's how you can detect verified or potential malware using Endor Labs.